the Group Technical Training Academy, the complete solution for your training needs. Technicians can learn from leading instructors on trends, issues, and technology. The Group's comprehensive training program will provide information that will sharpen your skills. I'm going to walk you through very quickly how to get into TechStream, how to identify the immobilizer system and see uh, if it recognizes the key, if it likes the key, and what will happen in that process. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the key. So I, I've just turned the key to the run position and I'm going to launch TechStream software. Now I'm using my AEZ flasher as my interface device. Uh, if you have any issues on connectivity, uh, refer to the diagnostic video and I'll show you how to make sure you have the, the correct uh, interface device selected. Uh, you have to have the key on, obviously, for the communication with the ECM. So we've got key on, we're connecting. TechStream identifies the vehicle, 2005 Forerunner. Here's the VIN number. So we're going to connect with the main menu. Now these are all the potential modules that are equipped on a Forerunner. Uh, as we talked about in the other video, uh, this doesn't mean that the vehicle's equipped with them. This is a potential list. And now I, I'm going to skip the health check section here because I already know where I'm going. I'm going right to the immobilizer module. So I double click on immobilizer. And so I come up to the DTC screen. Now obviously uh, this vehicle is running properly. I don't have any DTC set. If you have a problem in the immobilizer system, it will almost always set immobilizer DTCs. Uh, and that's the first place to start is to pull the DTCs and see what uh, error the system is encountering. So I'm going to skip over to data list right here. And the data list is not very long, but it actually gives you a lot of information that's relevant uh, to what you're working on. So first question here is, uh, I'm going to highlight this immobilizer PID. Uh, it says immobilizer value unset. Uh, unset is actually a good thing. Unset means the immobilizer system is not in a lockout mode. If you had immobilizer set, uh, that would indicate that something was not, uh, not happy in the system and it would have uh, locked you out or locked the immobilizer system up. Uh, set would indicate that something has been, been triggered. So unset is a good thing. So you notice on the, on the second one here, we have permit start, okay. Uh, that tells you that the key that I inserted in the ignition, uh, the transceiver, uh, uh, it, the coil read the, the address of the key, it liked the key, it sent a thumbs up to the engine control module or is sending a thumbs up to the engine control module. So if this vehicle right now was a no start, I could tell you with 100% certainty it's not a problem with the immobilizer system, it's, it's something downstream from that.